Hello everyone, this is Big Ant here, and today I am going to be trying out a demo of Kirby and the Forgotten Land for the Nintendo Switch, and this game is going to be coming out later this month. I've seen many trailers of this game, and now I'm going to be trying it to see what it's going to be like. Now, I am actually very excited for this game. I'm not even joking. I'm really excited to see Kirby in full 3D. And here it is now, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. And I don't have anyone with me, so we're gonna be playing solo. And looks like we have wild mode and spring breeze mode. Hmm. Are these like two different modes or are they the same? Um, or is this just a difficulty? Um, I think I'll choose, no, let's just choose Spring Breeze mode for now since we're new to this entry. And here, oh wow, these graphics actually look really nice. You know, with these awesome graphics that have been coming out on the Nintendo Switch, I feel like Nintendo can make, like, movies with these. Like, the upcoming Mario movie that's coming out at the end of this year. I feel like Nintendo can use graphics like these. Uh-oh, what have we got here? Is this, like, a portal? <laughs> Oh, I hope there's more facial expressions like this in the game. Alright, who... <laughs> there it is again! Oh... <laughs> this is gonna be funny, I already know it. Oh, is this where Kirby's now getting his ability... Is this where Kirby gets his mouthful mode ability? Because that's new to this game. Oh, here's the thing we saw at the when this game was first announced. This was the first glimpse of the game. And is this where we start playing? Yes, it is. Here I am. I'm running, I'm jumping. I'm inhaling. I'm defending. Um, what else can I do? Just relaxing. Oh, I can taunt in this game? That's pretty cool. Kirby has idle animations. Are these taunts or these idle animations? Okay, you can... You know, I felt like Kirby was always destined to, like, be in 3D. Like, the, the games control, like, so smoothly that I feel like it can always work, like, in 3D. And now we're playing that, and... Oh, I suck something. I'm gonna spit it out. And it just turned into nothing. All right. You know, it's really fun to inhale in Kirby games. It's always nice to get that extra ability. Oh, nice. I got a coin. Oh. I feel like I should be going this way. And it's a flower. Gives me a reward if I run into it. All right. Alright, I already mastered jumping. You don't need to tell me twice, game. Oh, what's this? Okay, gave me three more coins. Um, can't go beyond here, so I'm gonna have to move here. And I'm gonna 
Inhale this and spit. Nice, got a check mark for that. No, I feel like every Kirby game just wants to make sure, like, you master every move. Like, at the start of every Kirby game, they always, like, do this, um, make sure you master jumping, make sure you master inhaling, make sure you master, master this and that, if you know what I mean. I can inhale, I can eat food, and... Kirby's jiggling away. Let's help Kirby be fit again by by spitting this out. Right, it's okay. Kirby, you shouldn't eat that. Let's, oh, I forgot. I can float in this. Oh, but you can you can get tired. I forgot about that. In some Kirby games, I feel like you can't get tired. Like. I remember in Kirby's Return to Dreamland, like, you can float infinitely, and you'll never get tired of floating. Oh. Now we've got that beautiful startup music when you s that beautiful start of an adventure music from Nintendo games. Like, that moment when you... G when you, like, go out into the wild in Breath of the Wild, or you go into the Cascade Kingdom for the first time in Super Mario Odyssey. This is the vibe it's giving me right now. Alright, I like the music here. It's pretty nice. Of course, all Kirby music is fun. But I definitely am excited for this. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh he hurt me. Uh, that's okay. I just swallowed him. And oh, I see. You don't need to press down on your controller if you want to get a copy ability. Now you can just you just get a copy ability from just by simply just eating the enemy. Alright, let me cut all this grass and see what I get. I get a coin. That's a good enough reward. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, we got another one of these dudes. Alright, you want a sword battle? I want a sword duel? Here we go. See, you're no match for me. I'm the better sword person. Alright, we go up here. And... We'll Alright, what's up this ladder? Oh, we got poppy we got poppy bros. I can get the bomb ability like this. Alright. Now I can throw bombs. Eat that. And some of this. Ha! <laughs> I'm the better bomb guy too. Kirby's like always better than the original when it comes to abilities. Hey, can I blow this up and we can get some new ability. Can I, like, discover something new from this? Hey, the bombs take forever in this game to blow- Oh, you can aim the direction you want to throw the bomb. That's nice. I think that was needed. Now, let's see if this- anything- Will this blow up the vent? Can I, like, go to a secret place? No, I can't, unfortunately. But that's okay. Um, I'll just blow up this guy for fun. Um, I probably shouldn't go down there. That's probably a death trap. I constantly make that mistake when I play Kirby games. Like, sometimes there's gonna be... S or that can also, like, apply to, like, any platformer. There can be, like, prizes down a pit... So, like, you go down there and you get the prize, but... So, like, you assume that other pits have prizes, but it turns out you die if you go down those pits. Yeah, it's kind of annoying when that happens in games, because you never know if, like... A, if you never know, like, doing something that would usually call... Make you die is actually bad or not. 
Oh, I already had full health. I didn't realize that. Can I go under here? Is there anything under here? No, there's not. I'll... You know what? I'm not going to use the bridge. I'm just going to jump. Because using bridges are overrated nowadays, if you know what I mean. Alright, where am I going? I'm going into... Is this the mall area? Oh, everything's destroyed. This must be where mouthful mode happens. Well, but now we got these furry fellows. They want to ruin our day. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to show them the power of edible. And mouthful mode. Now I'm a car. Or Carby, if you want to call it now. If you want to call it like, if you want to call it that. I know that joke has been told a million times, but I might as well bring it up now. Oh, nice. I can jump while I'm in a car. While I'm the car. That's pretty nice. Oh, I can I can even turbo boost. That's awesome. And very nice. It's a parking garage. I'm a car and I'm in a parking garage. That's very nice. Very nice place to turn into a car. Well, other than seeing that gruesome sight that's at the left of me. And at the right. I might as well get out of here now. And I am. I am now ready to drive on the grass. Something that you're probably not allowed to do in real life. Oh, but if these people get in my way, they'll feel the wrath of car Kirby. I'll destroy that block and see what's over there. Well, oh, what's in that block? Oh, I bet there's something in there. That wall has a crack. Very nice. Can I do this infinitely? Oh, what's under here? Oh, there's something up there. It's something really good. So I should go up there. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Turbo boost! Nice! I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of coins. Got a rock. Got a rock. Got another rock. And now I'm going across this bridge. Uh oh, the Waddle Dees are trapped. Gotta save them. Where are they taking the Waddle Dees? Well, I'm about to find out now. I don't think I can go up here with the car, so I think I'm gonna have to unfortunately get out of. Oh, I can still use mouthful mode, but I can't do. I shouldn't do that now. I. Need to go save the Waddle Dees. Oh, this looks destroyed. You know, being in a destroyed environment is never a good sign. That usually means trouble. Or I'm about to get a surprise attack from an enemy. But when the enemy attacks, I'll be there waiting. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. They're holding them hostage. Kirby, do something. You gotta save her. Oh no. Oh no, they trapped her. Uh oh. I shouldn't leave such a surprise. No, I didn't mean to do that. Boom! Haha! <laughs> uh oh. 
Now this guy wants to give me some trouble. Well, have some bombs. That's what's on the menu tonight. Just loads of bombs. Kirby throwing bombs everywhere like a boss. Nice. I just defeated the boss with uh, in like under 30 seconds. That's why I call pro gamer move. All right, now we're doing the victory dance. And looks like I have a new friend. Phew, you saved me. Thank you. But what about those other guys? The Waddle Dees. They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now, I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to. Well, let's get in the warp star so we can go save them. What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great. So, your name is Kirby. I'm Elphilin. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you too, Elphilin. We're probably doing a Kirby voice. Nice to meet you, Elphilin. Um. Anything else to... I, I, I'm sorry if I'm exploring a little too much. I love exploring... 3D games. They always have so much to offer. Um, Alright. Let's travel on the Warp Star and go save the Waddle Dees. Alright, now we... Oh, we can go on... We can go into a new stage. Downtown Grassland. Let's still do Spring Breeze mode. Maybe I'll try Wild Mode another time. Might not be on camera, but maybe I'll try it in my spare time. Right now, I'm just trying the demo just to see. Just to maybe get some first impressions on the game. But so far, I'm really liking what I'm playing right now. I was really excited for this game when it was first announced. And, like, I'm just so excited that the Kirby series is taking a new direction. I always love when Nintendo does something new with their franchises. And it seems like that's what they've been doing so far during the Switch era. Like, even though Nintendo's making a lot of poor decisions during the Switch era, their game- most of their games are really good. Actually, some of their games are the best in the series, like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, both games taking a new direction in the series, like going fully three, like a fully open 3D experience. Oh wait, there's achievements in this game? That's nice. Gives us more to do. I always like when games have achievements, like they give, they give the game more replay value. Like, they'll keep you playing the game, and that's, I think, what all games should do. They should keep you playing for hours. As long as it's not repetitive or boring, though. I interrupted this guy's nap, and unfortunately, that was the last, his last ever nap. Alright, let's... Yeah, that's a cool way of grabbing coins. Oh, what have we got here? Hey, bunny, it's not Easter yet. Alright, let's get some cake. Starving. Yummy cake. Oh, nice. Make five tulips bloom. So, I gotta go... I guess I gotta... I can control camera. Oh, I can... Oh, I can still swallow while I have the abilities. That's something you can't do in Kirby. That's something you normally can't do in Kirby games. Swallow things while you have an ability on you. That's very nice. Oh, we got more bunnies. Oh, and I, I gotta watch. I got a limit on cans. So, I should probably use this wisely. Oh, 
All right. Let's take out these dirty jerks. I am... Spit. Spit. What am I spitting at? Oh! I'm spitting soda cans. What, I can't... I can't go in here? Oh, I can... I, I just have to do this to go in here. Alright, got another achievement done. And I'm gonna get out of this form and go up here instead. Alright, and looks like we've got... Oh, what's this? And what's this orb thingy? What does this do? Oh, what does that do? I didn't exactly catch it. Oh, we got a giant bow right here. Oh, no. That's... Shouldn't have... I'm trying to attack. Haha, <laughs> take that. Alright, and who do we have here? Oh, we've got another one of these furry dudes. Bye-bye. Alright, any more tulips? Oh, I got some steak instead. That's... that tastes good. Not gonna say steaks are better than tulips, because tulips are beautiful, but steak is definitely delicious, if you know what I mean. Where am I going? Oh, that's very nice. I really like the camera shot of this section. We're like going through a city. That's very nice. Alright, what have we got here? I've got this... Should I... Now nah, I'm gonna stick with my cutter ability, or my boomerang. Um... Hmm. What else is there to do here? Other than cut down these boxes. Yeah, and he's trying to sneak up on me? I don't think so. Yeah, take that. You messed with Kirby, I mess he messes with your life. And it won't be so pretty. All right, what can I? <laughs> what can I do when I'm a? What, what can I do while I'm a cone? I uh, can I, I can do this, I guess. Oh wait, does that like vibrate the whole ground? So like, can I destroy enemies from like a mile away? Oh, I can destroy metal boxes. That's cool. I, I guess I should ground pound this point and get some food. I got some pumpkins. That's always refreshing. When you get tired of steak, your second solution is pumpkins. Alright. These furry guys still want to attack me? Well, I'll attack them back and they'll lose the battle, let me tell you. And their lives. Can I destroy these cannon guys? Because I don't think you can destroy them in other Kirby games, can you? Oh, <laughs> uh, so like this, this was like a trench because like there's a war going on here. And I can't destroy them. And this does look like a perfect depiction of a war. Though, wars in real life are much deadlier. Um, okay. So I guess I go in here and I flood the place. And I- that'll make my way up here. Where I can do this satisfying trick. What are those things? Um, what can I do? Mm, I guess I can't ground pound that. I'm gonna have to move on. 
and I will get out of there. And looks like I have to save a Waddle Dee. Looks like I'm gonna save a. And I think I might have to fight him. Oh, when they do this, that means that usually means you're gonna fight a boss. So I hmm, should I stick with my cutter or go with the bomb? I think I'll stick with my cutter. Oh, so it's just like just fighting like an enemy fight compilation, not an actual mid boss. Oh yes, it is an actual mid boss. And it looks like we're having a cutter duel. I could just swallow those and spit them out at him to make it easier, but No, I can just stun him instead and just constantly spam this and he'll be Uh oh. No, don't do that. Um Yeah, take that. And he's gone. I could have gotten his- Oh, you automatically get his copy ability? That's nice. Um. Oh, I guess I have to- Drop this! Oh, how do I drop- No, too late. Oh, well, at least now I know how to drop abilities if I want to change them. There he is. Now he joins my team, I think. Oh no, he's he's just I just saved him, but he doesn't join my team. Oh well, I don't need anyone on my team. Kirby's already as powerful as he can be. And he is a pretty powerful guy. Got some more steak. Or roast beast. Oh, that guy's probably mad that I ate his brother. Um and there he goes. No, I want this. I think I want the sword now, so I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get rid of this and get the sword. There we go. Now I just slice open these boxes and get the rewards. And I go up here and then see what this is all about. Oh, I can. Con can I control. I'm controlling a water tower. Oh my god. Oh, this is to save a Waddle Dee. So now I just gotta save one more Waddle Dee. Um, what's over here? Oh, it's more coins. And I'm getting a lot of coins. And this is just a demo. Um, okay, who is th that guy looks pretty dangerous. I should approach him carefully. Or maybe not. Or maybe I should have. Okay, that was lucky. I got lucky right there. I think I gotta. Oh, I gotta like swallow a cone, I think, and then. And then ground pound on him. I think that's what I gotta do. Um, alright, so I think I might find my solution up here. Um, let me just slice this guy. And the cone's right there. I'll cut this down and enter mouthful mode. Haha, <laughs> take that! And he was, and he ate a Waddle Dee. Now I got, now I got all three Waddle Dees. So what happens when I complete an achievement? Do I get anything special? I gotta make one more Tulip Bloom. Um. Haha, <laughs> let me surprise attack him while he's sleeping. Ground pound on these trash cans, maybe even on these benches, see if that'll do anything. And it won't. But that's okay, because we can still go up here while we're a cone. Because who doesn't love to be a cone? I think this I think this game is convincing me that cones are awesome. Oh nice, so Every time you complete an achievement, you save a Waddle Dee. 
I think. I think that's what it means, because when I completed the achievement right there, a Waddle Dee showed up. A Waddle Dee icon showed up. So I think I... Uh-oh, this guy looks like a big boy. And I think I should probably approach him cautiously. Oh, no, no, no. That wasn't supposed to... Oh, my goodness. He's literally reaching me from all ends. <laughs> Can't attack me from there, pal. Oh, this is just a trench I can hide in. It refilled my health, but... Oh, and then I lost it. Wait a minute, I can't... Oh, I gotta get him to bite it. And then I gotta ground pound on it. And then I gotta go up here. And then give him the old ground pound. What do those things do? Well, there's three Waddle Dees in that cage, so... Oh, and I dropped the cone, so... And I think this is the end of the level. Yes, it is. Very nice. Huh, and I cleared all the... These are missions, so... I guess each level in this game is gonna have you doing a certain mission. That's nice. Gives completionists more to do. I can already tell this game's gonna be great. And you got some figurines that talk about the characters here. That's pretty cool, too. And I don't have time to really read these descriptions. But, you know, I'm glad that this game's gonna give you a lot to do, so... That's very nice. The Brawl at the Mall. So it looks like we got one more stage to play. And we're gonna be... Playing that stage. And. Uh oh. Sounds like an eerie presence. The music just got intense for some reason, so. It looks like the enemy here means business. Or the boss. I should have just called him the boss. Oh, come on! Dude, seriously? Alright. And I have a feeling I might know who this might be because I saw a lot of, I saw a lot of trail, um, well, let me word this correctly. I saw a lot of pictures of this demo on Twitter before I decided to check it out and it looks like someone just dropped in. Can I see who it is from here? No, I can't. I gotta go up here and see it. Oh wow, that's a lot of bananas. Nice, this game. Uh oh. Something's causing things to shake. And. Oh wow, we got the ice ability here. Wonder what this does. Uh, I wish I hadn't killed all the enemies. Oh, nice. There's more of the boss level to explore. That's pretty cool. Um, anything over here? Um, oh boy. Oh my god, that's a big monkey. That is one big... Oh boy! Uh, okay. Shake the... Shake, shake, shake. Alright, now we gotta fight this dude. This is the truth. Um, this was one of the hype things. This was one of the things that was hyped for in the trailer. This big monkey that we're gonna be fighting. You know, cause we... I think this is the first time we've seen... Um, never mind. Um, how do I attack him? I, got, I guess I gotta drop my ability. Yeah, this battle wasn't made for abilities. Like, why would they offer those things? I clearly just need to go hand-to-hand -hand as normal Kirby. With this primate. Get 
Got him. In the face. Got you in the face. And he didn't react to that. He barely reacted to that, actually. So, it was a little pointless. I got him in the face again, and he didn't even react. Does he know I'm just destroying him right now? Well, he just smacked me right there, but I'm still winning. Still got way more health than him. He's just gonna keep throwing his rocks at me. Man, they'll make anyone a boss. Oh, this is where he starts getting angry. Now here comes the twist. Uh-oh. He's, he's gonna be coming at me fast with a spin attack. Get him in the face. Get him in the face again. Haha. <laughs> I defeated him. And he's down. As a prize for playing the demo version, you've earned the present code. Clear demo. Hmm. As a reward for going all out in this demo version, you've earned an extra special present code. New adventure. Hmm. You can use these pressing codes to get extra items in the release version. Both codes at Waddle D deliveries, which will open as you progress through the story. Alright, so I'm going to get some extra stuff as when I get this game when it comes out. That's pretty nice. And it looks like we got another cutscene. More adventures await in the full release. I cannot wait to play this game when it comes out. I cannot wait to play the full version of this game. Might even do a review on it. Maybe it might be my first time reviewing a new game when it comes out. This looks so, so cool. This looks like it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait for it. I can't wait. Oh, those look delectable. Oh, they got gambling in this game too, like in Smash Brothers Melee, where you gamble for the trophies. I guess in this game you gotta gamble for trophies too. Hopefully that's... Hopefully that's not the requirement for trophies. Hopefully you can get them in an alternative way. You know, Kirby games always do have interesting stories to them. You know, despite the child-friendly look to them, Kirby games actually Kirby games are actually really unique. Like every Kirby game has at least one fun thing that's distinct that's distinct from them. No, oh, King DDD. What's going on with King DDD? He looks awesome. Or he looks badass. Will there be some parts in this game that... That are emotional? For what we just saw? Oh nice, what do we have here? Oh, so this basically tells you what the game is going to be about or what there is to offer in the game play with evolve you can now use evolve copy abilities play through any stage again to take your newly evolved abilities for a test run hmm should i maybe play these your copy abilities are currently evolved would you like to change them back to normal form Hmm. Maybe I'll... Hmm. Should I play a stage again? 
You know what, let's play, you know, yeah, let's just play one more stage, this time on wild mode. Let's see what wild mode's about. Uh, can I skip this? Yes, I can. I don't want to sit through this again. I just want to test something out. Skip that. And just go into the pathway. And... Do I have... Did, is my health reduced? Am I... Do I have, like, less health now? Hmm, that's kind of like EX mode in Kirby Return to Dreamland, where you... It's basically the same game, but with you have, like, less health, making it even more challenging. Like... All right. Oh wow, I have new co my copy abilities enhanced. So now I'm like, my sword is gigantic. Does that mean it's more powerful? Oh, I... Oh, man, nice. You're very nice. I can destroy trash cans with this thing. Haha, <laughs> I'm the better... I'm still the better swordsman than you. It's very satisfying to cut grass, isn't it? Wait. Oh, I should have lost my ability so I could see what the bomb is like. Oh, I still can. I'm going to drop this ability and see what the bomb is like. Oh, so this has a... These can like, ex these have like more of a range and explosion. That's very nice. Now time to see what happens if I gobble up the car. Is my car ability enhanced now? Um, it doesn't look like it. It still looks like it's the same. Huh, that's a little disappointing. I thought, I thought I was gonna like, it was gonna be something like a monster truck or I was gonna go extra fast when I do the turbo boost, but oh well, <laughs> at least then that, but actually, you know what? That's not a bad thing because then that would basically be too overpowered in evolved mode. Though it's very nice to have the option to enhance these abilities. Hey, you guys ready for a chain reaction? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Well, I just ate some of it myself, but... These guys are eating way more of it. And honestly, I'm glad I'm missing out on the buffet. But I can't wait for this buffet when it comes out on March 25th.
So now for my final thoughts on this. What are my thoughts on Kirby and the Forgotten Land so far? This game looks really, really promising. I'm not even joking when I say this could actually be one of the best Kirby games. Like, I'm really happy with the new direction this game is taking with the whole open world 3D exploration gimmick. Like, I cannot wait to, like, test out so many of these new mouthful mode abilities and all these enhanced and the enhanced copy abilities as well. Anyways, that's all for now. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Feel free to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for more great content. Anyways, keep calm and let life carry you on. Fire!